Hey, and welcome back. So today I'm gonna to talk about the worst experiences I've ever had as an environmental engineer. In this channel, I don't wanna sugarcoat you know, this job. I want you to understand the good and the bad things about being an environmental engineer. So this is just my personal experience. This is not something that you would like, experience at every single job. You know, every single job has its perks and benefits. But this one just happened to me. You're probably not gonna experience this yourself. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now, there are two of them, really. So it's like a story. The first horrible experience that happened to me was that I had to go dumpster diving to find hazardous materials or just like clean up some oil spills. So when I first came to this job, I wore really nice clothes. You know, I interviewed, it was like a nice dress shirt and some dress pants. It looked like I was a businessman or like I was about to attend some wedding or something. But that's what you sort of do when you are interviewing. Then when I got hired, I was just thinking, you know, as an engineer, you should dress pretty professional. You know, you have high standards, people look up to you, so you should dress professionally and, you know, fit that role. So my second day working there, I still wore like pretty nice clothes. Dress shirts, dress pants, dress shoes, everything like that. Then reality hit me. On that same day, there was an alarm at the gas station. Turns out that there was like an oil spill from some customer and we had to go suck it out. So my boss and I, who didn't exactly wear like full professional clothing, he just wore like more business casual. He wore like a color t-shirt something like this. We both didn't realize how dirty we'd be at that day. So on that day, we went out on the field, the gas station, and we just had like a hose basically, you know, seeing business professional guys with a hose just sucking out like gas at a gas station. It just looks really weird. But needless to say, my clothes got really dirty that day. It wasn't like really physically demanding or difficult to do. But again, you're wearing like a nice dress shirt. Imagine like a pure white dress shirt. You know, just came out of the dry cleaners. And then now you have to go suck out oil from like an oil spill. So on that day, my boss told me, never again do you ever have to wear business clothing. Just wear business casual, wear something comfortable because you might get dirty. So that's why typically I'd always just wear like a color shirt and just like khakis, you know, nothing too crazy. I can still run if I had to and I wouldn't mind getting like these normal clothes dirty. So in the end, I'm just prepared to always be dirty if I had to. The next horrible experience is experiencing toxic coworkers. So this one can make your work miserable because you see them every single day. Long story short, I went on vacation for a week and then I was left with a bunch of emails when I got back. As I'm reading these emails, I see that this one project manager emailed me, my boss, and like some other coworker. I didn't see that anyone emailed back the project manager and it just seemed like everyone ignored it. So me being worried and you know wanting to get things done, I emailed back the project manager asking if she was helped. To my surprise, she said that she's still waiting for a response from them. So that made me sort of upset because I know that there were at least two other people who saw the email, but yet no one was responsible to respond back to them. So I clicked the reply all button and I emailed back the project manager asking what can I do to help? Where can I get started really? Then that one environmental colleague emails me back a nasty email saying that, you know, he was working on it and that I look stupid and incompetent for getting everyone involved for just asking where to begin, where to start. So it's as if asking for help on where to start a project was a bad thing. So my first thought was, did I do something wrong? I mean, no one replied back to this email. How am I doing something wrong if I'm the one to take ownership to this email when at least two other people were you know, given equal responsibility? Also, I just got back from vacation. So how am I in the wrong when I just got back to my work, but yet you were here the whole time for the whole last week. How can you say you didn't have time when you had a whole week at your work and yet you couldn't even respond to this one project manager? Also, it wasn't within my own responsibility. It was within his department, not mine. So I'm not in charge of that field. I didn't have that responsibility or knowledge. It was that colleague who oversaw that building anyway, yet he didn't respond or work on it until basically I pointed it out to him. So it sucks because we have like a toxic relationship. I don't really enjoy working with him. He's still working at my work. And this happened back in August 2020. You know, I remember that date. Originally, I thought we were okay in terms of like working in general. But you know, once I saw this happen, I lost all respect for him because I don't think we can ever go back. That just sort of proved how insecure or how unreliable he is. But for me, I like to take extreme ownership to these tasks. I'll admit if I'm wrong, but I don't see a reason where I was wrong at this point. I just do my own work and do what I have to do, but I think that he has too much pride in himself that he has to condescendingly look down on others to keep his job. Yeah, so that's an example of a toxic workplace. That's something you don't want to get into. 
but it seems that if anything, all workplaces have something that's not gonna be fun. So those two are my worst experiences with this job. Again, this is very personal. This is not something that you would obviously go through every single time you work in this field. Although I'm pretty sure toxic relationships and toxic coworkers will be there for every single workplace. Okay, that's all I have. Goodbye.